and just to put this in context, the government right now is defending its actions to uh, have questioned Jahar Sarnayev before reading him his Miranda rights. One of the reasons is authorities simply didn't know how many bombs were actually out there. And when they found a note that was scrawled inside the boat where Jahar Sarnayev was hiding, it said that we are promised victory. We shall surely get it. So there was a fear that, in fact, there were others that were out there. What we have learned now is that the device that was used was constructed using Christmas lights to build the fuse, and it was also detonated uh, by remote control parts used for a car. That is information that we had uh, back when this was all going on more than a year ago uh, with this manhunt for these uh, these two men. But it's interesting that they were built that way. The government says, look, this took some knowledge. This took some skill. This wasn't just you know, doing this, uh, building this in your mother's kitchen because there was this component of activating the devices by remote control. We know that Tamerlan did go to Dagestan. There is a belief that he was there to get training from, uh, from jihadis that were there. He talked about going into the woods, which is code for uh, going to uh, become a jihadi to learn terrorist tactics. So uh, it, learning the sort of the details of how this was done sort of confirms how it was carried out. And again, there's always been this question. Did Tamerlan Tsarnaev actually meet with anybody uh, in Dagestan who trained him? The question doesn't mean that Jahar received that training, but he may have been indoctrinated by his brother who was telling him what he should do. It's all part of the government's case.